silence is here. We have to start from this point. And, and the music has to come from this silence. We tend to think a recording is just to uh, focused about the artist that plays the music. But in fact, it's a teamwork. It's really the sound that Richard will capture through his microphones, through his setting. <clears throat> he has to understand not only my my sound, but also uh, the world of the composers. He has to catch it. <laughs> can you play a little bit so I can just yeah. hear the piano? It's a legendary piano. This um, CD-18 um, from um, Istomin Orovitz. You never have this kind of experience in your life. <laughs> You're never so lucky to experience that in the, your life. What I want to do is create a sound that matches the emotion that the music is portraying. I'm recording for stereo, but at the same time we're experimenting with uh, immersive audio, providing audio in three dimensions. So we can try one or two times. Okay. Super. Let's do this. Just give me 30 seconds to get upstairs. Yeah. You have the talk back button, otherwise. Okay, I'm here. Stand by, please. Okay. Stand by, please. This will be take 50. Working with Julien on this project, it's been kind of amazing for me uh, for a couple of reasons. We, we think very similarly, which is, makes it very easy to collaborate. I like his style, I like what he wants to get out of the music. Secondly, it's Ravel and Monpau repertoire, uh, the composer from Spain, early 1920s, 1930s. Uh, and and Monpau, as Julien showed me, it, his writing is very similar to Ravel for a solo piano. And it's related so well, it just makes the perfect sense for the flow of an album. What I liked to do in this album is to put a mirror between them and let them reflect to each other because they share the same vocabulary. Not the same grammar, but the same vocabulary. They have a different way to express things but it comes the same result in the end. Oh, I'm starting to get tired. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh. Do you want to go from Plulin, do that section? Yeah. Why not? I would love that. <laughs> yeah, let's cover that section. Okay. Uh, are you ready to go? Yep. Okay, this will be take 51.
So Julien, actually, in preparing this repertoire, memorized everything. So he played the very first thing we did the first morning. He sat down and played through everything from memory, 65 minutes of music. And aside from repeating a couple measures too many times, uh, his memory was perfect, which is great. You know, we talk about turning off one side of the brain. So he's not using his, his eyes and brain process to absorb what's on the printed page. It's all inside him. It's in his soul. And he can just think of making interesting colors and, and actually not overthink, but just let the music flow out of him because it's all, it's, it's in him. To bring back the people to the silence, to their own silence. That was the idea of Mampao, in order to create a movement and to bring creators to follow this movement and bring back this, this voice of universe, because we come from this silence, from this stardust. Silence is giving birth to the sound, and and then the sound is coming back to silence. It's not a secret. It's not a death. It's just there. We just have to listen to it. Well, the freedom of the sound has to play with this space and time. How do you project the sound into space? And the quality of the sound has to change for every note, like if it was a new world and a new world. Every note is in the first note. And in one note, there are every note. This is the magic of Mampao. There is nothing much to say, but you say everything. Julien's style, he, he'll follow the markings in the score from the composer, but in his own way. For instance, sometimes Ravel would write assez vif, which means, you know, with lots of energy. So he would do that, but it would be his style of showing lots of energy. And for this repertoire, it wouldn't mean loud, or, you know, or too agitated, but sort of dancing, I guess. You know. There are expressions in the music like lointain, which means far away. So how do you, with microphones at the same distance from the piano throughout the recording, how does the pianist press the keys down and make the sound of the piano sound like it's actually further away than the previous notes he just played? Well, Julien can do that, and very well. But just the presence, my presence, is enough. If it's successful, because sometimes it's not. Um, the magic doesn't happen, but if it happens, then the audience feels his presence and become present also. They quit whatever they were doing. They don't realize that they're quitting everything to just listen. Oh. Great. Many. Um, yeah. Okay. That's good. good. I think the sound is right. You should come in here for just so you know what the, what the okay. final sound will be. Good. Great. Yeah. So I think that'll give us a basic idea for sound, and, uh, but by all means point out anything uh, 
I can just tell you quickly that this sort of thing, it was working really well, I thought. Yeah. The contrast. So, let's see. Yeah, I tried to, to do what you suggested. All right, so this take is from this section. We have so many things coming up to our eyes, to our sense in general. It's very aggressive. I think we lost the magic of listening. It's not hearing, it's listening, it's another process. The listening process involves you to be active, in a way. It requires your presence. Did I add one more here? I think, I think yeah, actually here, yeah, okay. <laughs> We met on, on the day we started to record, basically. And it's like I, I met him forever. Like I knew him from a long time ago and we're used to record together. We know what we're gonna do. It was this kind of encounter um, that is magical because you don't need words, and the person understands where you want to go. And that's the, one of the talents of Richard. And I loved it. I loved to, to experience that um, recording sessions together with him. I think I had one more here, but yeah. I'm not sure. I thought... You know, the time disappeared even though we recorded in, one, in less than one day and a half. Yeah, I like the ending. That's good, right? Yeah. Yes, he wrote CD légèrement. idea for the sound anyway. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I should skip ahead maybe and show you. I want to show you maybe the end. Huh? This measure is really quite yeah. nice. I wonder what you think. Uh, yeah, and then we'll go to the end. Let me see. I can find this place, I think. Let me just skip. Let's let's yeah, 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 plus, it. but you you Here. didn't like it. Let's, let's play it again. <laughs> It's, it's the break? You don't like the break? Yeah, there is a small yeah. break. I can close that up a little. No. Not as good. So 35. There is, it's rushing. Them. Uh, and, but it's my fault. I mean, it's, it, to uh, me, it sounds exciting. So. Yeah? Okay. But I would like, you know, this is the top. It has to, hope, to open. Not right. to open. Yeah. Yeah. It's party. It's um, yeah. It's something exciting. I just wanna, I gotta finish marking. Let's see. <laughs> this is the real twenty-eight. <laughs> yeah. This, no. 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 Don't. You don't like this growl. There is or? one note in all this mess that is wrong. Every time. Yeah. Okay. Who is the pianist? Oh, thirty-three. Here we go. Oh, and thirty-five. You liked yesterday. Remember? Thirty-five. Mm -hmm. But I said okay, but plus 33. So let's hear those two. Where's the pen? <laughs> ah, yeah. that's it. But tell me about this. Here. You like it? Yeah, we have to compare, but. I don't say. That classical music is the key to every problem of the world, but maybe it's a door to figure out. There are many yeah, other doors, but maybe it can change the life of a person that for the first time will experience listening. Yeah, I 
think we have it from. <laughs> <laughs> you, so you this do this. Tired. You <laughs> actually do this with your thumb, yeah? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Da, 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 boom. Okay, yeah. From Always, the, but this one's on the, the outside. Yeah. Okay. Great.